Rahim, Assalam Alaikum. In this video, we will learn how we can change the UI of uh, Invector. So, default UI contains these health bars. Also, uh, uh, also, if we play the game, you have a inventory icons, and uh, we have a right side, you have a gadgets. So, I just selected the UI uh, uh, gadgets here which are here controls icons and i just deleted them okay so after opening the prefab uh, you can delete that also for the inventory items uh, if we play then i will show you that i have changed the inventory icons as well a little bit and uh, you can definitely uh, make more modifications and i will show you how you can do that so if we play you can see that I have changed these round uh, uh, round icons and before these were squares and if we want to analyze that where it lies then we can go to scene and then uh, uh, if you click here uh, to find then you will find this inventory window uh, where uh, it is this one okay and you will also find the equipment display window inside this equipment display window these are the icons and if we select a particular icon you can select uh, you can analyze the settings and if we select for example uh, this one display ammo you can see this is the display ammo and here is the display text and here is the display image if we click on this display image you can see where this image is coming from uh, this section and in fact if we uh, hide this aim canvas a uh, canvas because it is uh, stopping us and then if we select this we will move to right position here you can see icon keyboard so if we click here then you will find the path of these icons and you can just create your own icons and you can drag drop that icons inside this also you have these uh, images for aim for a mask scope etc you can change these as well okay also uh, for other uh, items for example inside this if we have uh, this section you can see this is the source image uh, where the source image is blank and the color is selected here okay and uh, it has a transparency for this type effect and uh, under this we will have our icons if we uh, uh, for the guns if we have some gun uh, for our player so let's add a uh, gun so we can analyze it so if we have a gun you can see that now we have this gun icon so if we want to change this gun icon or this icon you can select it here and you will see that this is the icon if we click here you will find the path of these icons as well so definitely you can replace these icons as per your need as well uh, last thing for the uh, health bar uh, we want to change health bar little bit and uh, for health bar I already changed its color so if we select the uh, uh, health bar then you will see that uh, we have these settings and inside uh, this we have images for background and also we have image for fill area okay uh, sorry uh, and the main component is fill area and for fill we also have a animal health image okay so if we select this uh, enemy health you can see this is the image which uh, is used for the health okay so uh, for changing this image we can uh, create our own sprite if uh, you want and uh, we can also get some sprites from the uh, asset store or google uh, as well so in this case i am just adding this uh, sprite and i will make it uh, png so uh, let's add it here and uh, then uh, for this I will just uh, remove the background 
uh, okay and I will leave the uh, one bar so we can test it out and actually when we are cropping then it will create a problem so I will not use this we will choose the simple technique so here uh, we can get some texture I will just get the texture and you can uh, follow your own method it's not uh, necessary to follow my path uh, but I'm just getting the texture for uh, visualizing health in a proper shape so uh, let's add this texture looks nice and uh, this texture we can use for health so let's add it for enemy health sprite here and uh, I will just make it bigger definitely so but I think it's not uh, as better as we want so uh, if we directly use that texture let's see what will happen so uh, that uh, where it is uh, the texture okay this one so we will directly drag it in here and uh, for background uh, if we select this one then let's see what will happen and before that we need to convert it to 2d uh, before applying to UI so if we select uh, this one uh, we can select the image and also for the fill we will add this image the same image and you can see uh, yeah you can see nice effect if we click on play uh, then let's see uh, what will happen and uh, okay so it will work but you can see that power uh, is nice but if he attacks us our we, we will not analyze the uh, power failure uh, minus uh, that we want and that is due to uh, the same color of the background as well so we will select the background and uh, here you can see red rough texture background and uh, we will add the simple one for the background okay so and um, similarly for stamina uh, we will select background and we already have enemy health here and for the fill uh, area we will add this image okay and we will make its color to blue actually and I don't know why it's become too dark because uh, uh, yeah it is too dark so I think uh, I think we will leave it the same image and we will add the color uh, the same color for the fill which we have added past in past so uh, this color is fine I think and now if we play then let's see what will happen hopefully our surprise will be changed and uh, yeah one more thing I didn't explain here I'll show you that and uh, let's uh, enemy hit me and nothing happens actually I don't know why uh, okay in fact uh, we can't analyze the damage and maybe he's not damaging us that's why but if we select the health let's uh, okay let, let's revert it to original one no problem and uh, the background and for the fill area as well uh, yeah so I just want to test it out one more time and then we will finalize it Yeah, so if we roll stamina is decreasing so that's fine and health will also decrease if he uh, punches uh, punch uh, unfortunately he can't damage us due to uh, certain reason uh, maybe yeah 
So, uh, if we want to make us damage, he should have enemy tag here. Actually, it has a enemy tag, but uh, for certain reason, uh, yeah, here there are a lot of things companion AI, and uh, we don't need it. He should have player itself. And uh, now, hopefully, he will damage us. So, uh, yeah. Now uh, we will check that uh, how we can uh, make the size of the stamina bar. And uh, uh, the size uh, default in vector size was too big for the stamina, and uh, health size is the same which you are analyzing in editor. So, uh, when we select our player, we have this health section and uh, actually inside the player. Uh, where is the player? This is the player. So, we have this health section and in health we have this 0 and 100 and for stamina initially you have maximum stamina of 200. So, I make it 100 to make both parts similar. Okay. So, now if we select this uh, UI uh, we can open it and uh, the last thing we will add is the image in the background. So, uh, I just have bring this image for our player and uh, we can just right click and uh, we can actually inside hood, uh, I will just create another uh, UI uh, image and for this image we can add this image and then we can just move this image to the top uh, at the health bar position. So, also we can snap it to top left and for the health bars we can select health and stamina and we can move it little bit like this and like this. So, when we are happy uh, then we can move further and uh, let us play it and let us see the final result. Hopefully, it will be nice and let us see what will happen. Yeah, so that is nice you can see we have a nice uh, health bar as well and we have inventory customized as well and uh, we have other things as well, but uh, I do not know why uh, Millie is not to damaging us due to certain reasons. Maybe we have lost something on the player and if we select the uh, player shooter, uh, you can see this is player, player, everything is fine. We have, uh, okay, we have this uh, health and we have stamina and we have layers to detect and ground layer and th that is fine, grounded locomotions. Everything looks fine here. Uh, I do not know why it is making mistake. So, yeah, everything is fine. Uh, head ammo manager, shooter manager and Yeah, here everything is fine. Maybe some other problem uh, with our enemy. So, uh, I will just test it out uh, after this video and uh, this video we are going to stop here because it's become too lengthy and let's meet in next video. Goodbye.